Hello guys, so I did a reaction video on a guy whose name is Gazebo Meister and he actually uh, posted a video like 12-13 days ago uh, about things we forgot in Rainbow Six Siege so it's about 30 minutes uh, long and this game has been live for like 10 years and it's crazy and I've been there since the start guys so I probably remember a lot and I also have gotten a lot as well so uh, if you want to check the video out I'm going to leave the link down below and also give him a follow if uh, you enjoy his content and also guys don't forget to subscribe and uh, like this video as well it actually we know if you like this type of content of course and if you get enough views on this i might do some uh, other reaction video maybe on someone more famous in the rainbow six siege era but uh, until then guys enjoy this video okay let's start so this is made by pc for me so let's see here uh, obviously, we're going to have some uh, HD quality, and let's get started. I never should have got rid of the old Iana outro pose. Here's a few more things that I miss in Siege. Bandit and Jaeger ACOG was so much fun Ooh, to use. I, I hated that period. When I started on season, season one, I really, really but hated the ACOG. Is returning. The old intro to Siege was a cool thing they had that was kind of unnecessary to take oh, out. Oh, yeah. The intro it... screen they had for each season. We don't have that anymore. I never thought about it. What? It really no. gave each season that unique feel along with the music. Ooh. I wish they'd bring this back. Yeah, guys, I want it back. I want it back so bad. I never thought about it, actually. Like, I understand it... why it's not in ranked, but hostage was really fun to play. You could just run in, grab the hostage. And no, run. I hate a I hostage miss the so old maps, bad. Even though they didn't really play well. They were still kind of fun because they were chaotic, like house. The last thing I like, guys, I hated playing the hostage because for some odd reason I always end up killing the hostage in one way or another, even though I'm not trying to. Uh, and it was like so bad. But we definitely need to have the intro back, guys. Like you, some listen. We need to have the intro for a new season. It made the game so much special. So come on, we need it back, okay? I really miss is Recruit Rush. This was one of the most fun things to do in Ranked. Getting a five stack with the boys and loading up hostage was all time goaded. And I hope oh. this kind of returns with the Recruit rework. Let's see things Paul Allen misses from Old Siege. Okay, I'm just going to say something quick about the Recruit. Yes, I want to Recruit back on Ranked. But one thing that I don't want to see in the Recruit at all is the bloody shield. I hated the shield. And also, I really love trolling with the shield. Like, I did love being on that end, but not on the receiving end. You know, like, me and my friends would, like, go full-on shield everyone and just run in. Especially when we knew we were going to be e winning easily, you know? But yeah, like, that was the worst thing. Remember how insane Ella was when she first came out? Oh, Here are a few yeah. More things you might not remember about Old Siege. Glass used I to be able to shoot through so the windows good. on plane. He also had insane recoil on his sniper and no thermal. So you yeah, some like I didn't like uh, doing. Uh, his original scope actually used to be really red, glass. and then later changed it to clear. Then glass thermal. was never one Speaking that I glass, wanted to play. When he got buffed, he was one of the best attacking ops. His thermal was yeah, instant, and like, you could use it while glass moving around. Yin combo you could hide in a smoke was, grenade, uh, really, and anyone who was really, around uh, was cooked. Old clubhouse OP. was kind of crazy because there was Ooh. no construction connecting the top. Okay. Guys, this old clubhouse, like the it it was the sorry to say this one of the more dumbest rework ever because like if you start beginning there, like you could open a wall and stand on top of the building that you see and just plant and you would be able to hold the bot and not doing anything except for trying to get out and hoping that you get a kill from that. Like it was insane how easy it was to do that. And it was kind of the same downstairs, it was weird. Floor together. Instead of stairs and garage, there was a ladder. Oh, I hated that. I hated going CCTV that way. And, and blue stairs weren't a thing yet. There was just nothing there, so basement was even easier to hold. The old ranks yeah. used to look way different. 
The ranks also used to be backwards. Oh, I have meaning those. Meaning you would go from gold one to gold two if you I want actually have it on Here's a bit of a one better of look at all of the old ranks. Steam, Let's see what else Paul Allen remembers about old Siege. They need to add throwing back grenades in Siege. It was rare, but very satisfying if pulled off. Here are a few things yeah. I miss from old Siege part two. This is a feature I'm not I even sure miss people the remember, names, actually. but being able to rematch the team you just played in ranked was a really cool thing they had. It was rare oh, that yeah. it happened. You, most of you might not, for those that have played like in season one, OG, so to speak, you actually had that, but they took it away pretty fast after the, the into the second season. Uh, it only lasted one season, but it was so interesting that you could actually do that. I don't think it happened that often. Not in my case, it did not happen as often, but it was a really cool option. If you want to like play against them again and get some payback, like you're invited to do that. It was so fun. Because you needed all 10 people to agree. This is something yeah. I'd want to see return. Night maps. I understand why they were taken out because the lighting was bad. But yeah, I, like I am not missing that. I'm not missing that. I just like the look and feel of the night maps better. This I is a little nitpicky, anything. but I always thought it was cool how it would zoom in on the guy that smoked you. This doesn't need to return, but I did like it. Secure I area and ranked was my go-to thing to play for me. Doesn't you could filter out anymore? hostage and bomb and just play secure. But I can understand why it was taken out, but it was fun. Because you could have unlimited time in a round if you had a Monty sit in there. I already mentioned this in the last video, but I really do miss these intro screens. I know they got rid oh, of them yeah. so you could reconnect to ranked fast, but they were still awesome. Let's Give me see that. More of I want it back. He misses from old siege. Give that back. Oh my god, so many memories. Guys, I do have a YouTube video where I compile Remember like you could take the out kills. With a uh, where I did like a video of my kills, and they are like six, seven years old. So if you want to see something how Siege was done, I didn't have a proper mouse either. So I was playing like on 1200 DPI. I didn't own a mouse where I could change my DPI at all. So like, if you want to go down that and see how bad I was, that's one uh, way of Twitch drone checking. in the prep phase. Here's a few more things that newer Siege players might not know. Oh, I want IQ was basically Warden early on in Siege. She could see through smoke. I want the Twitch drone to take more damage. Looked way it, different. it was Kavira's so old fun. pistol was insane. It had no damage Yeah, bring Kavira's gun back, please. Oh my god, please. It was very Just satisfying the pistol. to get knocks with it and get interrogations. Oh. The Super 90 was basically a sniper, hence the nickname Sniper 90. Yeah, old Monty was like, crazy. Even when cornered, his shield wouldn't move. We've all been there where Monty is like ops, so uh, Which kind of helped dumb. on the night maps. The shield ADS was also insanely fast. When you got mm -hmm. smoked in a gunfight but got out with minimal health, you could have someone reset you to 50 health, which would oh. be an absolute game changer. <laughs> I actually have a story. It is, there is actually videos uh, of that. If you want me to post a video, uh, I can do that. But there's actually a friend of mine, uh, Miss Badger, we played like late night into uh, Rainbow Six Siege and I was so tired I didn't want to play another ranked game but he talked into it to play another and I said like I, look I don't have the m right mindset I'm too tired so he asked me like hey can you down, down me because I was playing battery at the time because it was it needed a reset he was like uh, and I told him I don't have any uh, calves to throw at you He's like, no, no, throw, throw your C4. I'm not like, are you sure? Yeah, just throw it. And I'm like, I threw the C4 and then he decided to say, but don't blow. And I actually blew him up <laughs> at that point. Like I said, I was too freaking tired. So I accidentally blew him up. And that was actually caught on video uh, from a friend's perspective. So... Yeah, if you want me to post that video, it's a short video, so it might be uh, um, on the short video list. But if you want to see that, uh, do comment down below. Changer in gunfights, and like this clip won me the round. Bartlett University. A lot of people don't even know this map. Yeah, I missed it's that. It's completely removed from the game now. I'm not but sure why, but I missed ranked. this map. I think they were going to rework rank it, but turned like it into bad. Emerald Plains. So that's all that's left of it. Remember when Monty used to have the most broken hip fire with the revolver? Oh yeah. Here's a few more Freaking things hell. that you might have I hated blitz and I hate them still. One of the still rarest things so to bad. happen in Siege was double overtime. If you traded when the game was tied four to four, it was now that first to seven. That actually happened a lot. I've only that experienced lot, this one time actually. out of my entire time playing Siege. For me, at least, it happened uh, uh, on occasionally. Blackbeard's shield was nearly indestructible. 
Like oh, there was yeah. absolutely no point in trying to break it. Your only hope was if he missed like all his shots or a Okay, so we're going to get that rework of Blackbird, so hopefully it's going to, to be good. Cell, and back in the day, nitro cells were basically pocket-sized nukes. One of the many yeah. weird glitches of old Siege was Raptor legs. No clue what caused this to happen, <laughs> but it was only in kill cams and it was hilarious. When you kept scanning enemies, it used to give you five points for each person. And you could be on top of the leaderboard with no kills at the end of the game. If yeah, you I did that. I did the old that. Reflex used to have a much bigger triangle, and it was much brighter too. The C4 throw animation looked more clunky, and the old knife animation was a quick swipe. Remember when yeah. the SMG11 had an ACOG? Oof, Here are even yeah, more things. Yeah, it was nasty. The Siege. ACOG on Lion SMG was. One of the was most overpowered I did understand seen. that. He gave legitimate wall hacks, and once you heard this sound. Yeah. You were cooked. You I used remember to be able to see everyone's ranks people. right in the game, but now you can only see them on R6 tracker or if you are part. Yeah, why did I take it away, guys? Why did I take it? Like, I still want to see what other people have rank in the game. They took it away, and we can still see it though in like, uh, like overall of R6 tracker. Like, I'm not sure why they took it away. Please bring it back. It's so much fun to see the progress of the other teammates where they are. Um, it's a good little small information to see if the game is, like, balanced, you know? Partied up. You could dodge a ranked game right up until the match was about to start. Thankfully, you can't yeah, do this Yeah, I hated that. So many people did that. It was the worst. Leaving. Article 5 was a really cool thing they had, and now it's gone. Oh! Speaking of Article 5, did you know the voice, the female voice in that video? That is like the director or something. Uh, the voice is actually Angela Bassett that's playing the voice. And she actually played like roles such as uh, Black Panther's mom, for instance, or is playing in the series 911 as one of the police officers in the series. So they actually got a pretty good voice actor. Completely. You were forced to queue up with four other randoms and defuse the White Mask Gang's bombs. It felt like a keystone of old Siege. In old T-Hunt, they used to have these bomber enemies that were absolute yeah, I... tanks. Oh my god, I hated them so bad, the guys. I died to this them. Like, I just had game. them left Glass and I would used to die. Be able to shoot through castle barricades and make tiny bullet holes. With enough shots, the castle would just straight up break too. Let's see yeah. Paul Allen remember even more things about old Siege. How many times remember are you going to say that? could all be using shields? Yeah, Here this is what I'm talking about earlier. About <laughs> Everyone Not only could you shields. run five shields with just recruit, you could bring a Monty, Blitz, and Fuse along with the two recruits. As a defender, this was terrifying to go against. Zofia yeah. could just get back up out of sheer willpower. Oh, Originally, I missed that. Health, How many of you want to that to come back on Sophia? This mechanic saved so you think that would make Sophia more playable? Which is why it got removed. You used to be able to ADS insanely fast. Oh, sorry, I talked over there, but like, he... he wait, like, I did not hear. Which is why it got removed. Wait, 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 wait. Let's turn it back. What did you say about Sophia again? Two recruits. As a defender, this was I, I kind of wanted back, against. but he said there Zofia was why. just get back up out of sheer willpower. Yeah. Originally, it was one health, but they increased it to five. This mechanic saved so many rounds, including one in Pro League, which is why it got removed. You used to be able to... Okay, I kind of understand why it got removed for the Pro League thing, but taking it away from traditional rank is a... I, I don't like that. It's getting... Like, the ranks are getting more and more close to Pro League. And nowadays, and I think that was one of the reasons why Siege had that like dip in losing a lot of players because most of us don't want to play in the pro league level. We want to rank up, sure, but we are not pro league players, so it's not the same. It's two different things, and as I have played comp before, it's two different things. No matter how you like divide it, like. Uh, like pro league games or comp games versus rank is two separate things no matter how you go to build up the rank system uh, but um, yeah i kind of want it back though it's a fun thing able to ads insanely fast with shields oh if you lined hell up a headshot, no. whoever you were looking at was cooked the smg12 used to have no recoil i guess you could say there was recoil but it was so much yeah. easier to control it was basically a free that. headshot every time and you could use it like it was a primary 
The old uh, operator portraits when waiting for everyone ooh, to choose I want their that back. I want that back. Different. And the background too with all the smoke. I want around. that back. It's Think so Bruce much better. Used to give cooler. You insanely fast ADS and no recoil, but you didn't keep the health even if you weren't over Yeah. Here. Once that surge was over, that extra health was over too. Remember when Maestro had insane hip fire on his mm -hmm. LMG? Maestro main <laughs> for <too>. reason. <laughs> Here are even more things you might not remember about old Siege. Thermite used to have frags, so he was basically a one-man army. Yeah, he you did actually. You could deal with the bandit yourself, then get the wall. This he is what the was. old menu used to look like. It was a person with a patch oh, that showed yeah. wherever the newest op was from. You used to have to buy attachments, and renown yeah. was hard to come by early on. Especially when you just got a new op. So sometimes you had to go in with minimal attachments. Blitz's running animation used to completely expose him, but hip firing used to be insane. You could actually snipe people across the map if you lined up your crosshairs. Yeah, I don't miss Getting that. hit by Echo's yokai was the worst thing to deal with. Your screen would wobble back and forth until you stood still. Echo was the worst thing ever. Like, in the entire, like, period when he was released to them making a full change on like when you got echoed like from his device you were literally so freaking drunk it actually hurt my head and eyes i had trouble playing when i got it every time because it would like hurt uh, for for me at least uh but it took them so long to change that it was like Really annoying, and it's the same with Ella's Girls Month. It was really bad. Like, if you got anything from them, like you dead, you dead so fast. It was like nothing you could do. So I'm super glad that they changed that. Kind of want the visibility on the Echo Drone to be back, uh, in a like a little bit, but not sure. Echo is not played as much anymore. So do you agree? Should he get his invisible cloak back? And by that point, you were most likely cooked. Speaking of Echo, he used to have an ACOG, but just one drone. That it one still drone has could it, go though. invisible, though, once you stuck it to the ceiling and that doesn't, a lot of bomb rounds. Like, does Echo still ha have the ACOG? Let's see what else Paul Allen remembers about old Siege. I don't remember. remember I don't play Echo as much. Remember when the old run-out timer was two much. seconds and your screen would turn all yellow? Here's yeah. a few more things you might not remember. I remember it was Siege. five seconds Pulse as well. Pulse used to be able to insta-swap from his heartbeat sensor back to his primary. And I haven't used it in a while, but I feel like his M1014 used to be kind of crazy. Speaking of pulse, it's this is what good. his old heartbeat sensor used to look like. It yeah, was it's a lot slower. And at least visually seemed a bit slower. The quick leaning used to be insane. It was way faster. Oh, bring it was that back! Quick leaning! Oh my God! Especially so when there was a big oh. This is what Habana used to look that. like on the right, and her new one on the left. Honestly, a much needed upgrade. Not oh yeah, I hated how Ibana looked. Ibana was my main, but I hated how she looked. She looked, I'm sorry to say, say, she looked more like a guy and not a female and not the traditional Japanese woman I was expecting. So it's good that they changed it. Like it was so bad in the beginning. Not sure what they were thinking with the original design. Clash's secondary used to be a two burst. That was honestly not that bad, but it's way better now that it's full auto. Clash's shield yeah. swap animation was also way faster, so you could really put people in the spin yeah. cycle when she Clash first dropped. Was a the old disabling the diffuser animation used to, to just like be smacking the diffuser, and I think it was faster to get her too, to a good state. Sure on that. Remember when you used to be able to change your weapon to single fire or three round burst? Yeah. Here's even more things you might not remember about old Siege. Capkin's traps used to one shot any operator, but you could also yeah. see the laser, and he only had three of them. I love Capgun. I mean, when the first when I started playing Rainbow Six, it was actually Capgun and Fuse that I mained, and Capgun was an insta kill. And like, I was so freaking good at getting those that like, on like an average, I would get two at least kills from the traps on every like single round I went on being Capgun. And Fuse was no exception. I even got an ace with Fuse. Not sure how it bounced so far as it did, but damn, it was a lot of fun. And Capkin was also a one speed, so it took him forever to set up. When Malusi yeah. first came out, she used to have the T5 and a C4, as well as being a three yeah. speed, so she was insanely strong. The Roni used to have 20 rounds in a mag instead of 16, which made a bigger difference than you would think. 
When Golden Gun yeah. first came out, it was like a normal game of quick match, so you could use operator's abilities like Oryx. This was the old breaching charge animation. It was slower, mm -hmm. but did a lot more yeah. damage, so led to some pretty funny moments. Zero had frags when he first came out, but they didn't last long, sadly. Speaking of frags, yeah, that went this isn't fast. old at all, but being able to cook them was the best, and I don't know why they yeah. got rid of it. Old Border didn't have bathroom. Like, the reason why I'm going to give you the explanation, the reason why they took away the nades is because you could actually kill someone from underneath, you would not get like an indicator that there's nades coming and you, it's an instant kill weapon. And there was literally like 10 of them on board. Like in one pro league match, there were 26 kills total during a pro league match. And that's insanely a lot which kind of defeats the purpose on Rainbow Six Siege in general. So they decided to take away the cooking of the nade because nades are supposed to like clear out utilities more than actually making a, a kill uh, as well, so. It was just tellers and then a wall that led to outside, making it a horrendous sight to defend oh, yes! for any game mode. I love that! There was almost I nowhere to sit that. in sight. Let's see what else Paul Allen remembers about old Siege. Remember what running used to look like in Siege? Here's even more things you might not remember about old Siege. For every operator's birthday, Ubisoft would put out a challenge yeah, I have to get that. a unique charm I actually have it on most operators, dog actually. Tags for each the dog tags well and uh, the skins. Skin. I actually have most of them. Each operator ability. Everyone on defense used to have two reinforcements each, except Recruit, who only had one. Yeah, I hated that no so bad, because pool, you would so sometimes, walls sometimes would have one person that would not reinforce, would just ignore it, it. especially if you went cat. ...and fly right through them if you hit it at the perfect angle. On Old Border, you used to be able to shoot a zero cam right into archives. Since a lot of people used to sit on the hatch to head glitch the bomb chassis, it led to some <laughs> golden opportunities that don't happen anymore. I remember smoke used to that. have the weakest arm in history, and his smoke canisters wouldn't go more than two feet. Frost used to hold her gun by the mag on the side instead of underneath. Oh yeah, she doesn't do that anymore. That's actually correct. I didn't think about that. Why did I change that? It was freaking cool of her holding like the way she did. Why? That's odd. That was really odd. By the way, about the smoke, like there was a glitch where it actually the smokes went through walls. It's obviously fixed, but it was even allowed during the prowling settings that you could actually kill someone through the smoke, especially in Oregon. It was crazy. Ella used to pull out a Grismot mine when she was down. Not only would you stun the enemy, but you could also stop the bomb from being diffused. Let's see what else Paul Allen remembers about old Siege. Yeah, she also remember had the with, uh, like the same as go off yeah. on the test server. Here's even more things you might not remember about old Siege. Yeah, there was so much Bandit fun. used to have three barbed wire, and he was the only op to ever have this for the small time it was there. Oryx used to have I the MP5 when he that. first came out, and he was slower to jump up the hatches. He also yeah, he was so slow. He run through a wall, so his pick rate was really low when he first came out. You used to be able to steal people's kills. If someone yeah. <laughs> else knocked an enemy and you got the last shot, I would you would do get it the so often to my friends whenever I had the opportunity. You used to get points when you but would I also got the back. and bonus points when you did it with Kavira's old pistol. Nomad and Cade's 44 mag used to be really good. I didn't first play that pistol a lot. I really recoil, did not like it good though. Damage and had a different scope. Shields did not stop nitro cells if it landed near you. Even when you were full extended with Monty, you were cooked. There used to be like 10 windows in the canal control room, so you had to try and guess which one yeah. was there an op with ACOG just staring at I did at not like the old canal. Pair this with the was... old lighting, and it was a massacre every time someone walked out of their spawn. Let's see what else Paul Allen remembers about old Siege. Can you Remember stop when Valkyrie that? could throw her cameras outside? Ooh. Here's the I want that back. I want that back so hard. It's not... It's insane that they let it, uh, like, disappear. Like... It was so much fun. Obviously, I understand why, but we have so much utility on the attacker side where we can actually see that, uh, like, right now. Maybe do something where uh, the lighting is going to be stronger if it's thrown outside instead. Like, it's so freaking... It was so much fun doing that. Like, especially when the, I was playing, like, the show in Oregon, I would put it on that tree, and there was a tree was the left side as well. Never got shot down. It was so much fun because attackers usually stay on the balcony of the old Oregon and I would like wait to jump out from a trophy and toss a C4 above. It was like 
Massacre. There's even more things you may have forgotten about Old Siege. The old deployable shield was way different, a lot more clunky, and had no little windows on it. You could also yeah. use the shield to block someone from vaulting windows if you placed it sideways. Old theme park used to have all these train cars in the middle, and you never knew where yeah. someone was lurking. Not only this, but the lighting was really bad on this map. Bullet hole peaks. One of the most oh. broken things in Siege history. You would I don't miss that at all. I don't miss that at all. I'm so glad this they fixed that. This old glitch when Outback first came out, you could phase through the air conditioner. Although people caught on pretty quick and started putting I just remember there. that. When they I just buffed remember. all the pistols, they all had no recoil and were insanely strong. Especially Kavira's yeah, pistol. Yeah, PPM. Fortress crazy. PPM all the way, I feel guys. Like this map didn't last too long. So good. Ranked. However, it is still in quick play. The old hatch reinforcement animation and the reinforcement itself were different. It was a lot slower, and it stuck out of the floor, making yeah. it pretty awkward to hit with yeah. Hibana. Remember when the Lord Tachanka's turret was mounted? Oh, my, me and my friends did so many siege. things with the Tachanka's turret had no so shield covering his head, bad. so you had to hope and pray <laughs> that the enemy was a bad shot. Tachanka also used to have a different voice actor, and here's a couple of his iconic old lines. LMG mounted and loaded. Bathroom! Bathroom! Out Wait, the what? I'm out! Presidential plane being in ranked. This was one of the most chaotic the maps they've ever had in the ranked pool. A close quarters massacre, or when the random would pick glass and stay outside on the wing until the end of the round, not getting a single pick. <laughs> the run out detection that. being five seconds. This was actually kind of crazy that you. Yeah, I hated this, this one. This like that one that you saw, guys. I really hated that one. Not like the the sprint out from Oregon. Like the. Every single time, no one wanted to spawn there. Like, you would get spawn picked so often that no one wanted to spawn there. Of course, I'm the only dummy that likes doing that because I know that I want to take that fight in general. So, but uh, yeah, it, no, I don't miss that five run out. We, we can live without that, right? Kind of crazy that Ubisoft thought this was going to work. This is what the beta version of Siege looked like. An entirely different HUD and only a couple ops to choose. Yeah, from. I remember that. Instead of three attack or so three weird. defense rounds, you would alternate defending and attacking every other round. The kitchen on Chalet had a window that attackers yes. could just peek into. And with Prime Blackbeard, <laughs> it was a free pick every time. Oh, Let's see yes. what else Paul Allen remembers about Old Siege. Remember when Goyo had his canisters attached to deployable shields? Yeah, Here's don't even miss more that. things you might not remember about Old Siege. I hate that. Castle FPS glitch. This was absolutely insane. You could spam the regular barricade and castle barricade, and this would drop everyone's game below like 10 FPS, making it impossible to play. The Wait, I did not know that. Was that a thing? I... No, I don't... Was that maybe towards console? Because in PC I have never seen that. The old Pixel Peaks used to be crazy, because like in this Bolo clip, he actually gets smoked by Pulse's elbow. The Doc Stim glitch. There was a glitch where Doc yeah. had unlimited stims, and this is when Doc no overhealed way. for 40 extra health. <laughs> this was probably one of the most outrageous glitches we've seen in Siege. Yeah. I can't find a clip of this anywhere, but Castle used to have a deployable shield, and if you put it in front of his barricade, you couldn't breach yeah. it, and sometimes couldn't even melee it. When Doka B used to call I you, your phone would us. ring until you answered. Wish I had a baddie call me nonstop like that. Remember the Rainbow Six Siege reveal trailer? It's almost yeah, 10 years old. Yeah, it was so Here's awesome. There's even more things you might not remember about old Siege. The old pistol recoil was crazy, but the old Desert Eagle recoil was something else. Yeah, I love playing back and the Deagle was so this bad. This was nearly impossible to use, with the recoil kicking to the ceiling. Old Hereford Base being in ranked. This map was one of my favorites and they pretty much ruined it. Bring with the back rework. the old Hereford Base, I want the old the one. The old destruction with shoddies used to be pretty bad. You needed to use yeah. a lot of ammo just to make a tiny rotation. You used to be able to climb on the vent on old cafe. Oh, Dove I love that. I, I, guys, I used to go up there, but I would only go after to nade people. That was the sole purpose. I would not go and shoot or anything. If I knew where people usually stood, I would actually bounce the nade towards like um, the cocktail, and I would. Like, semi get a lot of kills from that, or get someone down, but like, it was so fun to do that. This would give you a crazy angle all the way down to the reading door or anyone running under skylight. The old F2, no recoil, had yeah. an ACOG, 31 rounds in a mag, Instead of fixing it, grip. that gun, they broke it instead, in the day, so... It most certainly was not to use her drone.
Remember when Jaeger could have a deployable shield for a head? Yeah. Here's even more things you might <laughs> not remember had, about old C. I had a so much speed glitch. <laughs> if you hopped on and off of Tachanka's turret a few times, it would make yeah, you run faster. Yeah, that was the so same as well for me. I have done that speed. as well. So Getting much fun. Getting swung by a three-speed dock was crazy. One of the many clash glitches was shooting with your shield out. This was one of the most game-breaking glitches we've seen in Siege, to the point where Ubisoft just straight up had clash removed from the game at a point. They're actually yeah, like clash was a huge uh, issue for like two seasons. So, like they took her away. I think it went like oh two months for something before they put her back in and it was a huge issue with her like she was uh too strong and there was uh so much glitch and she was too fast her shield uh deployment was too fast there was so many things i feel like she was the most complicated character that they needed to fix on all of the characters uh through the years and uh, now she's in a good spot i believe i kind of do still want to tweak uh, in some ways i don't want her to have that much of damage uh because like she's obviously going to be a shield operated not to take that much health away from the enemy but i can live with, uh, live with what she is right now actually was a point where you could break Lion's drone. This didn't last long at all, but it was pretty weird how yeah. they even had hit markers for it. You used to be able to climb on the ledge right outside oh, of the tiny I remember that. I think Coconut Bra actually you showed us that. You could also safely fall that? off the ledge without taking any I fall damage. I think it was damage. him that so actually was showed us. high reward. The invisible and invincible IQ glitch. This glitch was another insane one that was game breaking, where IQ's hitbox was still outside, while she could what? run around inside and be untouchable unless she hit a trap. Remember when you I could glitch outside of the building that. during the prep phase? That Here's I didn't know. things you might not remember about Old I was on the receiving end. Not only was there I the glitch with like the barricade that. to get out during the prep phase, but there was the deployable shield glitch that could get you outside too. So this worked on pretty much every map. Casual rounds used to be four minutes long, and at the time it was actually called casual, not quick play or standard. Yeah. On Old Oregon, you used to be able to get inside the washer and dryer, making you completely invincible and you could hop back out by vaulting the shield. The headshot hitbox used to be horrible. Yeah, Sometimes you would straight up headshot someone and it wouldn't register. It still is. Or it would be that you tell- Guys, the hitbox in this game is way better now than it was before, but it's still a problem. Sometimes the headshot will not register. And it's so, you can never get the game perfect, but maybe get the headshot more perfect, you know, would, would be nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's still a minor issue, but it's definitely a lot better than it was before. I got so mad so many times at the, at the game because of it. Technically hit their helmet. In previous seasons, we used to get two operators, a new map, new weapons, and a few extra bonus things here and there. And you would get all of these things with the season pass. Ranking up used to be really inconsistent with the ELO. Yeah. Sometimes you would only get 10 ELO for a game, but the next I one got like was 50. one point for one game. You could game, see what man. this was one, like in the Go once. Anthony Pitts Platinum Limbo video. Remember when Zofia had four stuns along with her two nades? Here's even more stuff you yeah. might not remember about old Siege. Barbed wire used to slow you down significantly more than it does now and I think it was three mm -hmm. melees to break as well. We were supposed to get a Polish season in year two, but it got scrapped and we just ended up getting Ella and Zofia and Blood Orchid and White Noise. During this yeah. Polish season, we were supposed to get a new map. No clue if they ended up using it for any current maps we have or if it's still on the back burner waiting to be released. Mm, the invisible operator that. glitch. I don't remember how you did this, but I think it was during Operation Chimera. The only way you could spot someone was by seeing yeah, their Yeah, I weapons. remember that. On Old Chalet, you used to be able to climb up and sit on top of the fridge in the kitchen. Yeah, just out of view from that yes, small I love that. That was so, so Who can so forget mean. Kickstar's iconic Ace on Plane? Rest Yay, in peace, Kickstar. 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 Oh my god. Rest in peace, Kickstar. That was such an iconic moment. Don't vex oh. oh dear, Kostar. Commercial, guys. Commercial. Just ignore that. How dare you interrupt Kickstar's ace? Oh my god. That was remember so Remember when Yacht was crazy. a ranked map? Here's even more things you might not remember about Old Siege. Yeah, Yacht Capitao's was no fire fun. fire used to not only look very different, but it acted very different too. Yeah. It used to kind of float wherever it was shot, and it wouldn't spread I around. I have thought about it, to be honest. It I know it's There used to be no FOV on console, but... so everyone was locked at 60. 
Most console games didn't have this at the time anyway, so we didn't really know what we were missing. The Blitz Hipfire glitch. If you placed a breaching charge, repelled, got off repel, and pick up the breaching charge really quick, it would give you insane hip firing. I you didn't used to know have that. Different ranks on different that was servers. interesting. For example, if you played on a US East Coast server and were gold one, you could queue up with people in the UK and get a whole new rank after 10 placements, <laughs> while still keeping your gold one on East Coast. Yeah, that's actually true, guys. I did not play on NA, but I know multi multiple of my friends did that, uh, and they got a different like rank. It, it was two separate things. So, and also, guys, if you did not know, like about the rank, like um when you played rank uh you could play rank there was like no level limit uh, today you need to be level 50 to play rank but at that time you could have level zero on your rank it was just if my friend had a level 20 on his account i could queue up with him and play ranked even though I have zero in level. It was really odd and it was so easy to boost people during that time because there was no cap uh, as well. Post. It used to tell you who did damage to you and also how much they did. Not sure why they took this feature out, honestly it was cool. I don't remember if this was just a glitch or this is how it was, but in this old clip, Bandit didn't counter Habana. Let's see what else Paul Allen remembers about old Siege. That's a remember glitch. when the announcer on border used to yell this on the loudspeaker? Oh. Here's even more. That's like, that was the most annoying thing on that map ever. Like, every time you play Border, you hear, heard that freaking guy yelling in the background and you're trying to focus and shoot a guy that you know where he is. And all you heard is that freaking sound. Like, it was so loud. So every time you started, like, uh, uh, like the round, you would actually shoot this before you actually went in, and like the defenders would know where you like spawn from because of that. So it was like I'm so glad it's not active anymore. So more things you might not remember about old siege. I've talked about Maestro's hip fire before, but some people yeah. forget about the hip fire on the PDW. I did I it think was about it though? As as not only the PDW, but the 417s was really good too. There was also a point where it only had 11 rounds in a mag, and was thankfully increased to 21 making it much more viable. Old Favela, not only was it incredibly close quarters and chaotic, but it was also in ranked. I feel like Favela. I low-key miss this map, I know it's bad for ranked, but it was still a lot of fun. Buck having frags and his DMR having almost no fire cap, basically could be full auto if you were fast enough. Bodies would not disappear, they would just be lying there, and you could hide in them if you were sneaking. Yeah, when it comes to like the bodies did not disappear, there were so many things in uh, the ranked or pro league settings, uh, pro league scenes, where uh, people would actually hide on the dead bodies. So you would actually miss them when they actually walked uh, past you. So it, it's really interesting. I know there was an uh, incident on pro league where it was one that hid on one of the dead bodies and then clutched out the round. It was insane. I'm not sure which year it was, but it was so much fun watching it. Sneaky enough. Remember when Blitz had no cooldown on his flashes? Here's yeah. even more things you might not remember about old Siege. Shields used to be a one hit no matter oh. the armor or health you had. Yeah. The old LMG meta. Especially Zofia's LMG, you could just hold the trigger and let 150 rounds fly with absolutely no I don't miss no that. Recoil. I really don't and miss that. And you could that. still reload cancel It was like time bullet too. rain The old all Valkyrie over. camera glitch on bank. If you threw a cam out of the map in the back alley, your camera would be completely black. But you'd be able to spot what? every attacker no matter where they were no on the map. No way, did I miss that? And the that? camera was also indestructible. For what whatever reason, the Capitol used to have blue smoke. It also looked way different texture-wise. It was like multiple clouds. I, Thatcher used to destroy gadgets yeah. completely instead of disabling them. This included cameras too. That would actually this made be bandit tricking insane. way more difficult. Remember when you could drop shot in Siege? Mm -hmm. Here are even more things you might not remember about old Siege. Got a lot On of old house, drop you could climb up into that little uh, treehouse and have an angle all the way into master bedroom. Yeah. Sadly, the spot isn't nearly as good on the reworked house. It still Speaking works. of angles on old house, being able to climb on the dresser and master if you vaulted over a shield onto it. Guys, this was one of the more 
first glitches that I learned because it was such an insane spot to be. But everyone knew, like, it didn't matter which game you went into, like game mode, people knew all the time there's always one person hiding behind that cabinet. Always. Like, it was a given. Like, 90% of the, of the time you will always see one behind there. It was literally crazy. One of the best spots of Old Siege. In the reveal trailer when they showed the attackers repelling out of a helicopter instead of just spawning in. This whole trailer is honestly a different game in its entirety. This is what yeah, the UI that was and the like, beta looked yeah. like. As seen in the Goat the Russian Badgers yeah. video, almost nothing looks the same except for the frag and breach charge logo. These are all the old operator icons in the beta. Yeah, if that was so right crazy. Them, like, no I couldn't like, know what it which. was. Seriously, just look at Blitz's logo. I this have, isn't really uh, an old siege thing, but them. whatever happened with that Thatcher rework that was shown back during the reveal of Year 7? Did they just end up scrapping the idea altogether? Remember when you could hop out of the window on tower with Doc? Yeah, There's I remember that. I remember, remember that. About old siege. Any op could hop Never out of the worked window, good for me though. It never worked really good for me. It was Once bad. Once you were down there, you were stuck like Chuck, and the only way you were winning the round was if the attackers threw. There used to be no map or operator banning. Once that game yeah. started, you were locked into playing that map and went right to picking your operator for the round. The old yeah. matchmaking used to take forever since you could dodge before the game started. Yeah. You were lucky to make it in within under a minute. Although the queue times today aren't much better sometimes. The old pinging system. There were no numbers on the ping, so yeah, saying that over was there so on the ping like usually the ended ping? in a tragedy if there was more than one ping. The old season pass. Yeah. I wish they would bring this. Like the ping, guys. The ping was so bad because you try to ping and there was like more than one ping and you're like calling like on the ping on the ping and you hear your friend saying which ping like and you try to be more precise with like with your explanation didn't go as well as uh, it is today so like yeah it's a good change this back but it kind of makes sense why they don't since we're only getting two new ops this year it, it could still make a good season pass, day. though. Remember like, the Grand Larceny event? This is something I'd love to see return. Here are even more things you might yeah, have forgotten about fun. Old Siege. On Old Café Dovstoyevsky, the bomb site used to be kitchen and bakery. Small bakery was not a thing, and the room was really difficult to defend. Yeah, I remember. Right it's in barely door. in my the kitchen memory lane, to be honest, because Prep it was... had a was... window to outside and was actually called Baker Kitchen. It was kitchen. so long ago. The other two kitchen rooms were Kitchen Grill and Kitchen Prep. You used to only be able to have one drone out at a time. If you had a yeah. drone set up somewhere on the map, throwing out your second drone would break the first one automatically. The only I tend to I do that a lot. was from the Goat Macy J, but Valkyrie used to have four cameras. Being yeah. able to throw four cameras wherever you wanted, including I outside, remember that. was insanely I... strong. <laughs> remember when you could vote to kick your teammates in ranked? Here are even yeah. more things you might not remember about. I got kicked so many times, guys. So many times when that was active. It was insane. Like, I stopped talking for a while in my... Like... As soon as I would talk, or if they knew I was a girl, I would be immediately kicked off the team. In ranked, ca casual, you name it. Like, I stopped talking for a long, long time. I would only talk when I was playing with my friends. Now I'm not as, like, afraid to talk anymore because we would not get kicked. But, like, yeah, it, it, was, it was insane just saying how bad it was. At old Siege. Smoke used to have a nitro cell, and this was back when they were nukes, so he was a really good shield counter. Ghost yeah. Recon Wildlands had a crossover with Siege back in 2018. You had to track down Kavira after she went rogue, and you can play as all the Siege operators all the way up to yeah. Parabellum. They even still have the old Hibana in this. The recoil on Buck's AR was outrageous, especially on console. It would bounce all over the place and you had to pull down a lot mm -hmm. to control it. His old DMR was the way to go back then. Getting yeah. inside of the safety deposit boxes in the vault on bank. No. This glitch was crazy because you were invincible until you popped out slightly. And this was right where the hostage was. The old Rook Armor animation. Not only was the animation different, but it was green yeah. instead of blue and Rook didn't automatically pick it up. Remember when you could knock out parts of a castle barricade with a I few remember that. I remember that. Alpha? I Here's would also get shot a lot <laughs> when I did that. had a pro league scene. This didn't last long at all. I think it lasted about a year before they abandoned it. It would be yeah. really cool to see this return. Especially Bring that now back, since guys. there are so many console players. Like, guys, 
How many of you would love to see a console tournament coming back on Siege? Because it's huge. Most of the fan base is from console. Like, why not utilize what you have? Like, make that a tournament as well. Like, you don't have to make it as big as on the PC, but like, let the console have their moment. Like, there's a reason why it's so big. This was a small thing, but having to press a button to activate your drone. I definitely don't miss this. I'm a bigger fan of the advanced setting. Hibana's yeah, pellets used to only be six at a time. You couldn't switch it to four or two. And also, it was insanely buggy. Sometimes you had to push the activate mm -hmm. button multiple times to get it to go off, or only a few of them would go off. The R4C had no recoil and was yeah, one of the Ash has been on like for one of the more you could just most fly annoying, in with Ash still and cook the most annoying. The drone in the reveal play, trailer uh, was way off. smaller than the actual drone that we ended up getting. Imagine the drone spots <laughs> people would have found if they kept the drones like uh, this. Remember Iconic's clutch that. on Oregon against Dark Zero? Yeah. It's not that old, but still awesome. But here's even more things you might have forgotten about Old Siege. Bolo's insane ace clutch on Coastline. The quick yeah. leaning, the different recoil pattern for the r The quick cleaning is ice, not as fast recoil, now as it was the five uh, before, plan time, but all it's while still a really cool, good calm, clip. And collected. This was prime year two Siege. On old Hereford in the basement, you used to be able to climb on top of the shelves. This was a great spot back when the game first came out, because it yeah. caught people off guard. I that think it got passed alarm really that was fast. constantly making noise in the basement hallway on bank. I don't remember when they changed it, but oh, it was one of the best changes they've ever made I don't remember when they did that. You used to be able to glitch out the MVP pose in T-Hunt. All you needed to do was finish <laughs> the game where the characters stand, and it would glitch out. This was one of the funniest glitches that I don't think too many people knew about. Remember when you would hit someone, you'd basically paint the walls or floors bright red? Yeah. Here are even more things you might not remember about That's Old Siege. That's a bloody mess. When Prime Lion, Finca, and Blitz had the pro league scene in absolute shambles. Yeah. Every round you'd see Lion picked in a super aggressive attacking round. G2 went Lion ham on that. Siege it was league. like Doc didn't have an messy. overheal ability. His stim pistol was only used for reviving either yourself or your teammates to 75 health, which was honestly a big deal back in the day. Mm. I couldn't find a clip of this anywhere, but I think if you hit your teammates with a stim pistol while they were up, it would actually do damage. The old operator selection screen, there were only a handful yeah. of ops, especially at launch, but it's honestly crazy how many ops we have now. Yeah, I'm actually in an many. old Evan Braddock video called The Recruit Anthem. The video is almost seven years old, and it was really cool to see my friend and I in this video. You can see my PlayStation name that I still have, the Ninja Gamer 99. I made it when I was 12 and thought it was cool. Remember when Doc used to overheal 40 health? Here's even yeah. more things you might not remember about Old Siege. Fortress being in ranked. Mm -hmm. This map was massive and definitely wasn't my favorite to get. It's but not I the still best map, to be honest. It. I'd it's like to see this play. map return with a rework fixing some of the chaotic it's sites on more this map. Fun than this how infamous Sam bolo got. clip always gets me. <laughs> Reflex C used to be the only site you could use on Clash's secondary, along with yeah, it being that was actually true. It honestly it was wasn't so that annoying. bad, but it's definitely better having it full auto with whatever site. When Legion could steal Frost's kill with his goo mine if he threw one on her yep. Frost mat. I'm not I did lie, it so many times. It was actually that would do so much fun. The, board if I was at the, bottom. the old grenade glitch. If you pulled out a frag and put it away really fast, the frag would still go off. Usually resulting I've in a done tragedy. that so many times, Not needing guys. To be I level died 50 to, to that ranked. freaking nade so many times. I think originally times. you could hop in at any level, then they raised it to 20, then to 25, then 50. But not 100% sure. Yeah, this was uh, what I was what talking about uh, earlier about, about you jumping into a ranked game. Guys, 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 ignore the bad ending. I did not know the video was over, so just ignore it. But thank you for watching, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!